Greetings, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. Jan Michael here. And I'm Melinda, and we'd like to welcome you to the list. Today's list is going over our favorite songs that ever won Best Original Song at the Oscars. Now, just to clarify, this is not a best of top list. This is just a list of our favorites. As such, we're not limiting it to a top five or a top ten. If it's a song that we truly enjoy, that we believe deserve to win, it's going on the list. No snubs here, Academy. And we're going to start off our list with our rapid fire picks. These are songs that John Michael may have liked and I didn't, or vice versa. So the first song on our list is my pick, number 21, I'm Going to Love Me Again by Elton John from the movie Rocket Man. I feel that this song has made the list because it takes you back to classic Elton John, uh, crocodile rock style songs that are catchy and upbeat. At number 20, I have Can You Feel the Love Tonight from The Lion King, another John Elton song, and one that I actually found incredibly cringy as a child, but I grew to love the older I got. At number 19, my pick of Jai Ho from the movie Slumdog Millionaire. Another upbeat song where even if you don't speak the language, you can definitely get into the song. At number 18, I have My Heart Will Go On from Titanic, a song synonymous with its film. And while it might be cool to hate on Titanic, I just can't bring myself to hate the Celine Dion song. And at number 17, we have Remember Me from the movie Coco a song that I personally enjoy for its sweet melody. At number 16, I have City of Stars from La La Land, proving that even I can succumb to the Circle Jerk production sometimes. And my pick for number 15 is The Way You Look Tonight. And that's it for those rapid fire picks, but now we get to the main list, the ones that we truly agreed upon. And we're gonna start off the list with number 14. Hey, Melinda. Yes, Jan? What comes to mind when I say the word rape? Hmm. Baby, it's cold outside. I really can't stay. But baby, it's cold outside. I've got to go but away. Baby, it's cold outside. Exactly right, Melinda. Baby, it's cold outside. Now, Jan, this song isn't really about rape, is it? Well, you tell me, Melinda. Listen to these lyrics and we'll find out. While I fall. The neighbors might But maybe it's bad out there. Say, what's in this no drink? Caps to be had out there. Well, even if you would interpret it that way, why would we add this song to the list? Well, quite frankly, and selfishly put, that it's catchy. I actually had to sing this song in front of an audience during my middle school choir class. So ever since then, I've had this fondness with it. What? <laughs> now, it is really unfortunate how the song's been interpreted in the last few years. Um, taken out of context, I can see how it could be, but along with the movie, this song is definitely classic. Oh, what happened? Why, we retired to puppets! Uh, but why? Well, to celebrate our number 13 pick, Man or Muppet! Now, anyone who knows me knows that I love the Muppets. And so I was super excited that the Return to Theater earned them this Oscar. Well, although it's a really good song, you've got to admit it didn't have much competition. What? Well, the year that it won, there was only one other song you nominated. Well, I, I, I guess that's true. Uh, but still, I'm glad it won. What's with the Spanish? Well, Jan, I'm just introducing our number 12 song, Que Sera Sera. Oh! Que Sera Sera Whatever will be, will be The future's not ours to see Ah, si! Que buena canción! Cállate, idiota. Soy hablando. Oh, mi corazón. Another song that you probably have sung a few times in your life but don't really know the origin. It's very catchy and deserves a spot on this list. Verdad? Si, sí, señorita. 
Keeping the clock down rolling, we're down to number 11, which is You'll Be In My Heart from the Tarzan movie. For one so small, you seem so strong. My arms will hold you, keep you safe and warm. Whoa, whoa, what are you doing? Well, I didn't really have a skit for this one, so I thought I'd just take off my shirt like Tarzan. Yeah, maybe don't. You'll Be In My Heart is just one of those really nice, beautiful Disney songs that every kid in the 90s knew. Yeah, I'm actually not a huge Phil Collins fan, but, you know, I gotta admit, as soon as the song started playing, I wanted to sing right along with it. Now that's some power. Maybe too much power. <laughs> Let's take it to Christmas for our number 10 pick. Wait, we already did Baby It's Cold Outside. <laughs> no, Melinda. I'm talking about a respectable Christmas song. A white Christmas, if you will. That's racist. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas Just like the ones I... When I was a kid, I loved Christmas time. It just filled you with that magical feeling, that warm feeling inside that it's really hard to put into words. But there was just something so magical about walking out into your living room before the sun's even risen, seeing the lights on the Christmas tree, the song playing, the presents underneath the tree, and you got that feeling. As I got older, the feeling pretty much disappeared. But sometimes, when I'm driving home from work at night, and this song plays on the radio, a twinge of that feeling comes back. And that's why this song's on my list. Anything to add? No. That was good. And at number nine, we have the children's song Under the Sea from The Little Mermaid. Under the sea, under the sea. Darling, it's better down where it's wetter. Take it from me. Hey, what's wrong? Don't you like the song? Oh, it's not that. It's just, this is definitely not a kid's song. What do you mean? Have you heard those lyrics? Down where it's better? Down where it's wetter? Oh, man, this, this is sick. Anyways. Continuing with our Disney theme, our number eight pick is Colors of the Wind from the movie Pocahontas. Have you ever heard the wolf cry to the blue corn moon? Or ask the grinning bobcat why he grinned? Can you sing with all the voices of a mountain? While the movie itself was very forgettable for most people, the song stands out with its beautiful lyrics and enjoyable melody. Just like you said, the movie itself is very... Uh, but the song is definitely the highlight of the film. I, just looking at the animation in that section is incredible. Uh, very good beat to it, very good message, uh, powerful lyrics. Uh, it's definitely the best part about the entire experience. But yeah, that movie is... Uh, 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 Moving on to our number seven pick, we have Somewhere Over the Rainbow from The Wizard of Oz. Somewhere over the rainbow, way up high. This is actually one of those songs I wasn't originally going to add on to the list. Sure, it's very iconic, but it's definitely not my favorite amongst the list of songs that we had at our, at our disposal. However, upon listening to it a couple of times while researching for the list, I found myself strangely getting reattached to it. Maybe it's the nostalgia factor. I did see Wizard of Oz a whole bunch of times as a child. Or maybe it's because I recently saw the movie Judy and listening to the song makes me think of Judy Garland's life and everything she had to go through. Regardless, upon these revisits, I do believe it's a very powerful song and one that definitely deserves that spot on this list. I agree, more so because this is very nostalgic for me. It's one of my mother's favorite movies and one of the songs she used to sing to us as children. 
So there could not be a list without this song on it. <sighs> What's wrong? Well, our number six pick is, uh, well, it, it comes with a meme attached and I'm so sick and tired of it. So I think as long as we both agree, we're gonna, we're not gonna make a comment on it. I think I can introduce the song. Is that okay? Yeah. All right. Number six is Lose Yourself from 8 Mile. Look, if you had one shot, or one opportunity. His palms are sweaty, knees weak, arms are heavy. There's vomit on his sweater already. Mom's spaghetti, he's nervous, but on the surface he looks calm and ready. Son of a bitch! Eminem is definitely one of the most talented rappers that I've heard. Uh, but the true reason that this song made my list was it is one of the songs that my dad and I used to perform together in the car whenever it came on the radio. Uh, now look, I'm not going to sit here and pretend to be some sort of master rapper or, or whatnot, but I am a big fan of Eminem. And he definitely has those songs that... You know, it can be very controversial. Bottom line is, if you don't like it, don't listen to it. But I think what we can all agree on is that this song here has a really powerful message. One that I think can speak to a lot of people. Hey, Melinda. Yes, Jan? What comes to mind when I say the word racist? Hmm. Zippity doo -dah. My, oh my, what a wonderful day. Exactly right, Melinda, zippity doo -dah. Now, for those of you at home who don't know, zippity doo -dah is from the movie Song of the South, a racially insensitive film that Disney definitely doesn't want you to see. Although that doesn't stop them from explaining the hell out of it by putting it on their Splash Mountain ride. In all seriousness, that's James Basket act performing the song in the movie. And while I have my own opinions about blocking out history just because you don't like the message that you delivered at the time, learn from it, don't delete it. Uh, I am glad that they're at least keeping his performance alive, even in today's times. But tell me the truth, Melinda, now that you know that the whole movie is racist, doesn't that make words like this even more disturbing? It happened on one of them zippity doo dah days. Now that's the kind of day when you can't open your mouth. Oh. Without a song, jump right up. Trust me? What? Do you trust me? No! Oh, well then fuck this bit! Ugh, I'm out of here! God damn, doesn't even want to do the bit with me? Anyway, at number four we have A Whole New World from the movie Aladdin. A whole new world A new fantastic point of view No one to tell us no Or where to go Or say we're only dreaming And now that we're at our top three, I think it's time to get a little bit more serious. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. Well then, let's begin with our number three, When You Believe, from The Prince of Egypt. There can be miracles when you believe. Though hope is frail, it's hard to kill. While going through the list of songs, we had come across this one, and I had never seen the movie nor heard of the song. But as soon as it played, it definitely struck something inside me. Um, the way that the music was written, the way that it's sung, the lyrics themselves, it just was so instantly attractive that I felt like it deserved a really high spot on this list. This song does something that I think songs like this do incredibly well, which is it starts off small. It's just one person singing that very first part. 
and then another person joins in. And then by the end of the song, it's a gigantic chorus of people singing that crescendos into this epic finale. And I love when songs do that, when they start off small and build into something so much bigger. So while the number third pick was definitely something new to some and familiar to others, the number two pick is something that I'm incredibly familiar with because honestly, it's my favorite one among the bunch. And for that, I'm choosing Skyfall from the movie Skyfall. I love this song. It, it, just like My Heart Will Go On being synonymous with the movie Titanic, I think that this song is definitely synonymous with the film. And, and it's not just because they share the same title. It goes so well with those opening cinematic moments. Just powerful lyrics, the range that Adele gets to, and just the visuals of the opening. It, it all combines into something that I absolutely love and have heard the most of out of any of these songs on my list and I'm not done listening to it upon going through this list and listening to all the songs and, and coming to this one I was ready to listen to it again and again and again and I think that's powerful when a song that you've heard a million times makes you want to listen to it again you know you've got a winner <laughs> And thus we come to our number one. Now, while we did have trouble lining up the songs leading up to this number one spot, there is one that we agreed on. It might not be our individual favorite song. However, we did both agree that it's an incredibly powerful song that deserved to be really high on the list. Thus, we had no problem at all placing this as our number one. And that song is Fame from the movie Fame. It is incredibly catchy, it is easy to dance to, it is iconic on most everyone's list when talking about movie songs. This song is one that's nostalgic to me as well, um, everyone in my family loves it. I can't think of a song that could do better than this one. Infectious. That's the word that comes to mind while listening to this song. It's a song that I truly believe transcends generations. Just listen to the message of it. It's young people what thinking what young people think. Because I remember thinking this way. Wanting to be famous, wanting to be remembered, thinking you're gonna live forever. Tell me a generation that hasn't thought this way at one point or another. As Melinda said, it's incredibly catchy. As soon as the song comes on, you wanna dance to it. You wanna sing along to it. That's powerful. A lot of the other songs on this list also had that catchy tune to it, but I think this is truly the one that can speak to each generation. And guys, that's the list. That's everything that we agreed upon that definitely should have won that Oscar trophy. Let us know what you think in the comments below and your wrong opinion about your own list. And then in the meantime, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.